you cannot knock out someone that fast with a carotid. If you're gonna be using a carotid to take out guards, it's gonna take you a little bit longer to do that. So cliche. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna get paraded nude right down the tier. Cell looks real though. No way. <laughs> Okay, I'll oh, call. <laughs> oh, zip line. You know, I'm a little heavy. That would have broken with me. Hey, everybody. This is Chris DeCop in Gameology Studios, and I'm with my new partner. Camden, the ex-bank robber. So when I say partner, not really. And we're here to take a look at A Way Out. A Way Out is a game where you're escaping from prison, but a twist. Really? Yeah. Anyways. It's a twist. You got to co-op together to get out of prison. What better combination than a real police officer and a real bank robber? I couldn't escape, so I'm really wanting to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. Coming in, rolling up. <laughs> <laughs> Through the sally port. Ooh, this looks ominous. You got to actually love how the uh, game developers, their interpretation of what happens, right? Yeah. Oh, I remember the bus ride. <laughs> 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 okay, and here we are on the yard. Everyone gets to see the new guys. Oh, he's just gonna walk out into the open yard. These guys are going at it, but okay. <laughs> okay, so they haven't locked the yard down. Everybody's just business as usual. Where's this cat going? Oh yes, we're at his prison duds. And he's not escorted? No leg irons. Oh, he's gonna get schooled quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so obviously these two guys are both talking to the new guys. Right. What do they call new guys in prison? Oh, fresh meat, new guy, F and G. I, got, I think we got the FNG. Probably can't say, can't probably say that word. <laughs> so generally what I have to appreciate on the game makers on this is that they're usually trying to get us to fall in love with the characters, you know. And right, yeah. Obviously. The way people are truly intaked into the prison system would be probably a little bit more hectic. For gameplay, I yeah. agree. They're trying to establish a relationship with the player so you can feel a little bit for them. Hey, guard. Okay, you can't order a correctional officer <laughs> to do what you want. <laughs> Does it work that way? Come here now. <laughs> Does it work that way? <laughs> no, it really doesn't. It does look like a real setting. Definitely has that uh, old nostalgia type. Of Very prison. old. I served my sentence between 1998 and 2008. That little time period, a lot of stuff happened in the world. Technology changed a lot from me never having seen a cell phone uh, before going in and then coming out and the world was incredibly different. And a lot of the uh, convicts I served time with, the much older guys, they had served in the 70s. You know, a lot of the prisons, very much, the correctional officers wore those kind of uniforms with the hats and the batons and stuff. But yeah, that time period I think was very realistic. Oh, we got nudity on the other side. He's getting, I guess, de-loused. They still do that. They do in the South. They would not be parading him around like that, right? No, no. Okay. That wouldn't happen that way. Oh, here's gonna come the jerk warden. He's gonna lay down the law right now. Uh-oh, something's oh. getting hit. Oh! Okay, that wouldn't exactly happen. You're not gonna get whacked with a baton for asking a question. You know, obviously they want to paint the guards as jerks, the warden as a jerk. You know, they want us to fall in love with the uh, quote unquote bad guys because, you know, we want to be invested in their storyline and make the system the real enemy of, uh, you know, of the game. Yeah, and I mean, I think they're doing a great job as far as bringing that in. I'm sorry, but it's just so cliche. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching like... They're not parade. <laughs> okay, you're not gonna get paraded nude and f right down the tier. Cell looks real though. Oh. It's pretty grungy, yep. That's very realistic. I think they did a good job with that. If I started in crime and there was a possibility that I would end up right here, I would be like, uh-uh. I, I mean, who, I mean, you don't wanna live like that. I mean, I don't wanna go to the bathroom with No, yeah, it's just total noise all the time. There's no privacy whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the night. You're gonna hear things banging and clanging. Your whole prison sentence, you're totally visible the entire time, no matter if you're using the bathroom, if you're showering, wherever you go, somebody is always watching. And the noise never stops. It's 24-7, your entire sentence. It's just total insanity. Wow. 
out. But one person or one cell? Or would you have a roommate? You're gonna have a cellmate and really, you might have more. They might throw a mat on the floor and put a third guy in there, even a fourth. Because most of the penitentiaries are extremely overcrowded. They're not supposed to be that way, but the they are. housing conditions are gonna be like that realistically in a lot of places. So let's see what this guy's doing. He's looking for a shank behind the toilet because <laughs> that's a great place to put him. How would you poop? I don't know where the pipe is, <laughs> There's but... no pipe. <laughs> okay. It's a video game. <laughs> it's a video game. <laughs> They must use paper mache for plaster. Where I was, was I was in max security. No, you're not gonna pick through anything. Everything's pretty much steel. Anyway, I like this because the cells really do look real and this has got a realistic feel to it. At the jail setting, which is usually run by the county sheriff, you know, we see that there are prison breaks, or I should say jail breaks. I mean, we had the big one in Orange County where the inmates were able to get out. I think one of the things that happens in the jail setting is the complacency because, yeah, we usually get alerted to those loud noises like that. Now, somebody's gonna miss them <laughs> not being on their bunk when they do walk-arounds. How often are walk-arounds? Usually every three hours. Okay. And sometimes you have close observation inmates, which they actually stay on top of them hourly. In our facility, we actually check on our prisoners every uh, two hours. And then if there's any type of like mental illness, suicide watch yeah. is usually, I believe it's every 15 to 20 minutes. I like the outside, look. No, the outside looks pretty legit. Yeah, that's another five years. <laughs> they, I, I, they need to get out now. They've crossed the line. Actually, if I remember correctly, in the Orange County incident, they were able to climb and escape through the roof. It was either 2020, 2019 or 2020 when it actually happened, so it's still not unrealistic for someone to break out of jail and prison. No, it's not. I mean, I knew of a couple of people who broke out. We had incidents in one of the high facilities, and I should say it, but it was in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> the so guy supposedly <laughs> wrapped himself up in a pallet in the prison factory and it was shipped out and he got nice. himself out. So it was public <laughs> record. He was on the train tracks dressed in commissary grays and sheriff's deputy stopped him and didn't realize he was a fugitive. And Some warden in Louisiana is right now. You! Ooh. I don't know if you'd be that loud. I went on so many people actually almost severing their, yeah. their arteries when they break uh, windows like that. That's exactly what I was thinking. That's why I grabbed my hand. I was yeah. like, that hurt to watch. So wrap your hand in a blanket. Yeah and tape it and, and hit like this, not like this. Boys and girls, we are condoning breaking into windows. I'm just saying, don't do it, but that's the way it would be done. Up creaky stairs. Oh Man, these guys are quiet. In gameplay, when you crouch like that, you're mm -hmm. a ninja. I just want to let you know. It doesn't okay. matter what game you're playing, you're a ninja. Well, they seem like they know where they're going. This, must have, this is kind of a well-executed plan. They're not just wandering around. See, if you're watching my gameplay, mm -hmm. I would be wandering around, <laughs> okay? Because I never know where the hell I'm going. I really wish people would realize you cannot knock out someone that fast with a carotid. No. It's, it's, it's so funny because I think what they that was a two second. It, it definitely, if you're going to be using a carotid to take out guards, it's going to take you a little bit longer to do that. Honestly, I'm just saying in most of those situations, it would probably be more effective if they you know, garroted the officer. Right, right. With a guitar string. Or put, <laughs> they probably don't have a piano in there, but piano wire works really well. And then that's a life sentence then once you, oh, you know, get caught for that. No way. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll oh, call. <laughs> oh, zip line. With his bare hands. No, he used the hanger. Oh, oh, oh he, he did use the hanger. Yes, he, okay. He did use the hanger. Okay. Now, unless they made the hangers out of titanium back in the 1970s, uh, I'm going to call that, a little bit. That's, that's a wooden coat hanger? Yes. <laughs> I'm a little, I'm a, you know, I'm a little heavy. That would have broken <laughs> with me. I think if you're maybe 160 pounds. Oh. Ooh, through the glass. Okay. Oh, there's, oh, a round fired. Rounds are being fired. Come on, help him with the door, let's go. <clears throat> tap, 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 come on. Yeah, you know, you don't wanna play this game with me. You're gonna definitely get caught or shot. There they go, they made it. 
off in the woods. Now the real hunt starts. That was some actually really interesting gameplay. I'm sure my partner here can attest that some of the prison stuff is real, but then again, we also both realize it's a video game. Yeah, fun video game. I missed a few particulars. Maybe I could have escaped if things had been exactly <laughs> like that. And if you'd like to see more videos by Gameology, check us out on Facebook and YouTube. Jail's hard, so I mean, uh, hopefully you can make bond. Hey, that's great stuff, man. <laughs> I was like, hey, you gotta say that. <laughs> I want to be the Mexican in Red Dead Redemption too. <laughs>